I just love making new series for the channel. And while I also love making a witty intro before the intro plays, so like a intro to the intro, I decided to forgo that and explain my awesome idea that I stole from a massive YouTuber. <laughs> but with a pipe smoking twist. <laughs> Call it Tamp It Tuesday, the two minute Tuesday tip day where I, your benevolent and charming host, will give you all some type of tip, tutorial, or tactic towards tobacco things. Did you catch that phenomenal alliteration? That was like 25 T words in a row. Don't replay it, just, just trust me. I'll stop. But for real, some kind of talking point regarding pipes and tobacco. Designed to teach you something. The goal here is to do that in just under two minutes. The series will also run in conjunction with the regular videos I have. And these won't be YouTube shorts. I have different plan for those. But for the very first TIT. Dang it. But for the very first Tamp It Tuesday. Do I have to change the name? We will be talking about how to keep your tobacco pipe lit. Alright Pipers of YouTube, young, old, middle, let's get right into it. But first, we need to get that two minutes on the clock. And it's running. Now I'll start by explaining how ideally the pipe functions when smoking. When introducing flame to a pipe full of tobacco, several phenomena occur. First, my depression temporarily subsides. Now that was a self-woe joke, not a depression joke. If you suffer from depression, that is not funny, and I'm here for you. Let's light a pipe together, Just send me a message. Okay, first, actually though, already running out of time. The tobacco begins to char, right? This creates embers, and those very embers become the new source of flame, which ideally in turn continue to keep the pipe tobacco lit. In other words, your pipe becomes a self-sustaining machine with the proper intermittent action and attention, of course. But as we draw from our pipe during that initial light, we find that the tobacco leaves tend to expand rather rapidly too. So much so that the tobacco can, and often does, spill out over the top of the rim. Oxygen is great for the pipe, as it keeps our embers lit, but maybe not too much oxygen. So we come to the next step where we must tamp down these charred leaves that have just expanded. At this point, we're pretty much repacking the chamber to the point where we can steadily smoke our pipe with little intervention. This step, the initial tamping, quite often puts our flame and embers out completely. And that's okay, which is exactly why this initial light is often referred to as the false light or the charring light. Once we tamp our tobacco back down to the proper levels within the bowl, that charred tobacco is ready to be relit and smoked, taking us all the way through to the bottom of the bowl. This works because we prep the embers during that first light. Now our embers are going to continue the slow and steady burn of the tobacco, producing that delicate and delicious smoke that we all enjoy. It sometimes is referred to as the true light. This two light method is the gold standard of pipe smoking. They say you've made it when you only need to light your pipe twice, which is odd because when I first started smoking a pipe, I thought I was the absolute man for smoking one anyway. I thought I had it made even though I was using the, the 57 light method. But like I said, it's all about the two light system. The first light being the setting the stage light and the second light being the bring you to the promised land light. Now, just for your awareness, as there might be a bunch of newer folks in here, the best way to light that pipe is to use any form of soft flame. Now, I have a whole video dedicated to lighters and their effectiveness on pipes linked in the corner of the screen. I'm literally thinking so hard right now. It's, it's, this, it's this corner. Bam. money time brain. But with that charring light, it's important to lightly char the entirety of the top layer of tobacco by moving that flame in a gentle circular movement. On that same charring light, be sure to draw really deep and hard. That's what she said. <laughs> 
you're trying to pull that flame down to start the burning process. The smoke might get hot, but that's all right. Just puff the pipe a dozen times or so with a slightly increased rate of smoking or cadence, and then tamp it. Then introduce flame to the tobacco that second time, tamp some more, and now you're back at your regular slow smoking cadence. At this point, your pipe is lit in the most ideal sense. Last thing we must do is continue to tamp those embers downward. Our aim is to keep as little space in between those embers and that tobacco. If we neglect to tamp, then ash would accumulate in between those embers and that tobacco, and eventually our pipe would go out, as we fail to keep those embers or our new source of flame close to the unburned tobacco. But we'll take a deeper dive into tamping in another two minute tamp it Tuesday. End. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. I'm realizing just now that I missed an easy money opportunity to make that first two minute Tamp It Tuesday tip about tampers. But hey, the good news is with the final edits, I think I'll be right on the money sitting at two minutes for our very first two minute Tamp It Tuesday. Thank you for being you and do subscribe for more pipe because I won't stop piping. Best ways to connect with me are through my Instagram, get underscore piped, as well as the amazing international Get Piped Pipe Club, located within the Get Piped Discord server. Link can be found in the description, which is actually really hard to find, but it's down there. Alongside a master link to my podcast, the Get Piped Podcast, you can go check that one out. You can now get piped audibly every Thursday at 0400 Eastern Time. Merch is down there if you want it, but of course, this is just annoying at this point, so I'm going to stop. Bye. That's it for me. You have just been piped. And until the next piping, I'm out. I'm running out of like things to do. Like every video I like do a thing and like I like get up funny or stupidly. This is stupidly. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. And a fucking car. And a cat. Bop. Okay. I'm the best in the business. <laughs>